Hi, welcome to Storytime. My name is Lee and I work at the Community Library in the Children's Department and I do Storytime and right now we're doing Storytime from my office um, and because we can't gather still and I really miss you guys a lot. Um, I had my you would come to story time and I'd be so glad to see you and I'd get hugs and it was just so fun and I really miss you guys but um, I'm glad you're tuning in and there are probably some new people tuning in who maybe don't usually come to story time and I look forward to getting to meet you sometime but I was thinking about how I miss you guys and so I thought this week for story time we would read books about missing people um, cause I'm missing you and I'm missing my mom cause I usually go visit her every summer. She lives in Vermont, but I'm not going to be able to go visit her this summer and, um, I'm missing her, but there are things that we can do when we're missing people to say hello and to feel closer to them. So we're going to read some books and then we're going to talk about an activity that we can do to make us feel closer to people that we might be missing and might be missing you. So the first book that I would like to read is called I Miss You Every Day by Sims Tabak, and this is from Viking Press. This book is neat. It's got like a little envelope in the front. When the sun is shining bright or when it's wet and gray, I think about you all the time. I miss you every day. I'm going to wrap myself just like a present. I'll paint it bright and gay. I'll tie it with my favorite ribbon and send myself your way. I'm going to jump inside a nice big box. I don't care what you say. I'll write your address on the front. I miss you every day. So this, her package is going to California and she lives in New Jersey. So that is far away. Please take me to the post office. They will sort me on my way. I'll jump into a mailbag. I miss you every day. Do you see her? Which mailbag is she in? <laughs> Look at her crazy feet. I'll take a long ride in an airplane and a truck without delay. I'll climb into your mailbox. I miss you every day. You will find me in the mailbox. There's some postage yet to pay. Please unwrap me from the paper. I missed you every day. And she's saying, it's me, it's me, hooray. <laughs> Give me a bath and feed me supper. Give me candy so I'll stay. Tuck me in and read a story and everything will be okay. And that's the end. I like this book because I like the books that are on her bed because I... Um, recognize all of those books and what's kind of neat is this book I don't know if you've ever read that book but it's by the person who wrote this book kind of cool all right so that was our first book the second book that we are going to read is called life without Nico and it is from kids can press all right
Maya and Nico are best friends. They never get bored of playing together. Even when they aren't together, it's as if they are. But one day, Nico's father says they'll be moving far away for a while so he can continue his studies. This news is hard to accept. The days pass quickly. Too soon, it's time to say goodbye. After Nico leaves, a hole appears in Maya's life. The empty feeling grows. Now time passes slowly, and the emptiness follows Maya everywhere she goes. It's boring. She can't play with it, and it won't let other children near her. Sometimes the days feel dark to Maya, and other times everything feels far away. But as time goes on, Maya meets an unexpected companion. She makes a new friend. She even discovers a new passion. When Maya talks to Nico, she tells him about the kitten and her new friend. Nico describes amazing animals such as koalas and kangaroos. But with the arrival of spring, everything begins to bloom. Time starts running more and more quickly and Maya stops counting the days. Finally, it's the day of Nico's return. Maya thought she would be happy, but instead she's worried. Her life has become so full. Will there be enough room for Nico too? Then, when Maya sees Nico, she understands. There are some things time cannot change. And that's the end. So it sounds like Maya was kind of worried that, you know, she was really missing her friend Nico, and then she found some things to do that made her happy, but there was still room for Nico. Um, so it's okay to miss people um, and make room for other things to make you happy and stuff and to reach out. I like how they talked on the telephone. That's what I've been doing with my mom. I call my mom on the phone a lot and that's really nice. All right, so this is called I Really Want to See You Grandma by Tower Gomi. And this is from Chronicle Books. Yumi's house is on a hill. It has a pink roof. Grandma's house is on a mountain. It has an orange roof. Do you see their houses? That's Yumi's, and I think that that's Grandma's. One day, Yumi really wanted to see Grandma. So she headed out happily.
That same day, Grandma really wanted to see Yumi. She left her house cheerfully. Yumi took a bus. Grandma took a train. Grandma arrived at Yumi's house just as Yumi arrived at Grandma's house. Oh no! Grandma cried. Yumi was also surprised. Grandma went home right away. Yumi went home right away. Grandma took a taxi. Yumi took a truck. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did they pass each other on the road? I like how the um, cow is licking Yumi. Can you see that? <laughs> All right, let's see what happens now. Oh no, Yumi cried. Grandma said the same thing. I can't wait for Grandma. I can't wait for Yumi. I want to see Grandma now. I want to see Yumi now. The next time we want to see each other, let's just meet under this tree, Yumi said. Grandma agreed. <laughs> oh my gosh, they just kept missing each other. All right, and then my final book today is called I Love You More Than, and it's written by Ty Diggs. And it is from, let's see, I love you more. Um, Fewell and Friends are the publishers. My child, I am not always with you as much as I like. And when we're not together, I miss you. You are always running around in my mind and chilling inside my heart. These are the times I like to think about how much I love you. I love you more than I love dancing, but I love making up moves and moonwalking with you. To our favorite snappy songs. I love you more than I love singing, but I love to belt out your favorite song, your favorite la 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 lullaby, before you fall asleep. I love you more than I love going to the movies, but I love how you look in those 3D glasses. When we check out, 
booming big space action flick. It's fun to go to the movies. I love you more than I love the beach, but I love the footprints your little feet make when I'm chasing you through the sand. Tag, you're it. I love you more than I love eating, but I love going to breakfast with you. We get pounds of pancakes and apple juice. Sometimes I'll mix it with the juice with water so it's not so sweet. That is a big stack of pancakes. I love you more than all my sneakers, but I love how you look in your cool little kicks. They make you run so super fast. I love you more than New York City, but I love riding the subway with you and taking our time talking on our way to school. I love you more than so many things. I love you more than everything. I love you. I love you. I just love you. I just love. You. And that's the end. So it sounds like maybe her daddy or his daddy lives far away and they don't get to see each other, but they can tell each other from afar how much they love each other, which is a good thing. So thanks for coming and listening to the stories. And what I'm hoping you'll do is I'm hoping you'll think about somebody that you miss that you can't see right now or visit and write them a letter. Maybe draw them a picture and send them a letter saying that you love them and you miss them. I'm going to do that today. I've got to write a couple letters. I'm going to write one to my mom and one to my nephew who um, just graduated from college and I didn't get to go to his graduation. So I'm going to send him a note. Um, so I hope that you will take the time to write a letter because it's always fun to get mail, especially from someone you love and that you're missing. I hope that you have a great week and I will see you again soon. Thanks so much. Bye.